places influence romantic attraction? Are there places which can ignite those initial sparks of attraction? Before we get to those places, let's talk about the science of arousal. Arousal describes how activated and ready for action the body is. High arousal is characterized by a racing heart, increased sweat, and faster breathing. Arousal can be triggered by things like finding a large spider or having a stressful work deadline, as well as by doing adventure sports and feeling attracted to another person. Our body's response to all these stimuli is actually the same, even though our brain's perception of them is very different. Research suggests arousal has the property of being sticky and attaches itself to any associated object at the scene. But sometimes our brain gets the association wrong, and this is where the role of place comes in. Let's consider the Shaky Bridge study. Here, an attractive female experimenter interviewed heterosexual males on either a high, shaky suspension bridge or a low, structurally solid bridge. She offered participants her phone number for any follow-up questions they had about the study. More men who met her on the shaky bridge called her because they misattributed their feelings of arousal, which were actually induced by the shaky bridge, as being feelings of attraction for the experimenter. Another study explored the impacts of riding roller coasters on attraction, comparing responses from a group waiting in line to a group who had just gotten off the roller coaster. Not surprisingly, the group who had just experienced the roller coaster gave higher ratings of attractiveness and dating desirability to a person shown in a photo. Architects often incorporate arousal-inducing elements into their designs. For example, the experience of walking on the glass floor, whether it's spanning over the Grand Canyon or on a museum rooftop, can cause arousal. Zoragia Park in Moscow has become a popular place for couples, possibly due to its elevated walkways, undulating topography, and hidden alcoves. Examples like these and the high bridges, roller coasters, sites of adventure activities can all intensify feelings. Here's the thing though, arousal doesn't necessarily drive attraction. It intensifies the underlying judgment and therefore can also intensify negative feelings, leading to feelings of aversion instead of attraction. Unraveling the influence of environments on attraction highlights yet another connection between science and design. Join me next time to explore other unexpected ways in which the environments we create shape our lives.